Yo, what's up guys? It's Elephant, and it is time to join the Jaguar XJR9 prelim. So, the requirements are USA 2000s cars times 5, no legendaries, and that is not the hand I am using. This is where it's like that, 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 and that. So this is the hand I'm using. It's basically what I've got. Wait, I did put a fuse into this car, so, and I don't have enough money, so let's just quickly hop over to the daily event and hopefully race someone easy. Yep, there we go. So, put the cars like that, and there we go. This should be easy. Easy way to get a quick tiny bit of cash, as long as I don't pick three gold three times. But I shouldn't. I don't think my luck is that bad yet. There we go. Okay, easy. So, I'll get rid of the Bel Air, and I'll keep these two, because I probably will need them. Just in the future anyway so there we go now 5982 so i can beat the maxed out calibers on any of the rain stuff that's why i put a fuse into the chassis because i don't think it'll beat the caliber on slalom test without a fuse and chassis since it is pretty heavy even though it is faster i could also max out the cobalt ss turbo and replace it with the charger but i think this should be good enough because some of the track sets are more fast based so that's why the charger with the strong mra might be more useful but we'll see how it goes, and if something changes, then I'll change it. So, first starting off with a Hutchbot. Because having the Charger, then I can just throw it on all the fast stuff. Fast Circuit Rain, that's where that's going to have to go. Then we'll put G-Force Test. Probably you, you, and then you on the Twisty Circuit. So, but having the Bronco concept will be very useful for all the dirt rainy stuff. So, that's where I think I might be able to pull off a tier 3, is by having that, and also then the max Chrysler firepower. Because, since I am a USA specialist, this should be a rather strong deck. While with the qualifiers, it was a wide variety of cars. So, even though I did have a rather strong German hand, there was just so many different cars that you could use, that it just wasn't good enough, because none of it was really maxed out. While with this hand, I have all of it maxed out besides one Epic which has a fuse and chassis. And it is, oh, first, okay, am I by myself? Yes, I am completely by myself, okay. Well, that makes it very interesting. Also kind of hard to record a video if it's just gonna be me racing Hutchbots. So that'll probably go on the one mile so the MRA can kick in, that'll go on Waterfront, that'll go on G-Force just because it is my car with the strongest handling. And the other two won't do very good on the G-Force test. So this is also a Hutchbot, we already know I'm going to win. And it's still me, okay. That is rather interesting. So, but this is what I mean now, why I put the chassis fuse into it, because now it most likely won't lose to the Calibers by having 5982. Those stats actually look rather good. Like, I might start working on that car more. That can go there, MRA can kick in there, and Twisty Road will go there. So... Interesting. Maybe I have a bug bracket. That would be very nice. But, because if I have a bug bracket, it'll just be me, and that'll be an easy carpet fiber. But I doubt that'll happen. But it is kind of odd that still it hasn't really filled up with any more people. Okay, there we go. Chrysler Firepower. With an easy win there. Yeah, still nobody. Okay, let's see. Two more tickets. Maybe somebody will show up. Because if not, I might actually have good chances then. That would be nice, because I want that tomorrow. But I highly doubt that that'll happen. Actually, I should probably throw that there, that like that. That'll probably be better. Just because the Charger doesn't have that great of handling. But I mean, it also gives me a chance to maybe max out the Cobalt if I want to. But I don't really like get to test it on any people now to know if the Challenger would be good. And then the next race. Okay, so five races against Hutchbots. Zero competition. Could be a bug bracket, which would be very nice. Okay, there. There, and then MRA can kick in on Twisty Circuit, I guess. Like, that's the thing. The Cobalt, I think, would just beat the Charger on some of those other track sets. And I can then also use the Cobalt on, like, G-Force tests and stuff. So I think I might work on it. I'm not really sure though. But there we go. Five wins. Zero opponents. Tomorrow would be very nice to get. If this is a bug bracket. That would be very nice. But rather interesting. So let's just play the four more tickets left in the daily event. 
Let's see if we can find any opponents I can beat, because this hand is rather weak. Yeah, I don't think I can beat anybody here. But let's see if maybe I can get lucky with my last three tickets. See someone that I can beat. I can probably beat that. Yeah, okay, there's no other farming hand, so let's go for this. We're a quarter mile, half mile, twisty road. City Street Small would probably be you. Then Medium will be you. I wonder if actually the Charger can beat the Auto Delta. I'm not sure, because the Auto Delta has better MRA. Yeah, the Auto Delta does win. Auto Delta would be nice to have, since my front-wheel drive hand has gotten a lot stronger recently. But, I mean, I don't really need it right away, like I do the Pescarola, which is still avoiding me after opening a ton of French premiums. So, there we go. Then this should be a decent amount of points, I'm guessing... I was about to say 100, 98, so I was pretty close. And Mustang would be very nice if it does beat the M5, because the Mustang's MRA is non-existent. And I'm pretty sure the M5, since the BMW, would at least have a decent MRA, and the Mustang does lose. So I lose my two-star there, but oh well. It's not like I was gonna get very much from it anyway. Okay, I could race that guy again. It's basically the same opponents. Just, I don't have a Furai, I don't have a Caterham like that, don't have a Bugatti, or one of these Porsche, or a Lan Evo in general. I just have the Evo 1, but that's a 90s car, so I can't even use it anyway. So, when it comes to 2000s cars, I'm rather lacking a lot. I do have a Banana and a Legendary Murcielago, but that's basically it then. So if that's gonna lose, I might as well put it like that, so then I can get a 2-star. Because then this is only a loss by 50, and then the rest are wins. So there we go, got my two star this time. For a Nissan Micra and three gold. Okay, and I can race this guy again. Or a bunch of much stronger hands because I all have Evos. So let's just go with this one. Okay, win, win. Win, win, win. And there we go, then I'll just check if Maybe anyone join the bracket again, or if I might have a bug bracket. So there we go, and let's see. Okay, we do have another person in the bracket now, so it must not be bugged. It just might be a very fresh bracket then. But that's rather interesting. I'm hoping for maybe a tier 3 so I can get the F-150 Lightning, even though my finals hand is lacking a lot of stuff. Where we go to 2001s, and that's my hand. It's not that great. It's not actually great at all. It's not gonna win me anything. It's three max super rares, a stock rare, and a stock common for a final that basically consists of a ton of prize cars, so it'll probably be non-prize cars. And it's basically five legendaries that aren't that great. Maybe the CC8S is good, and maybe the Roof Art Turbo, but basically five legendaries that aren't that great. Three epics, one of which I know is decent. I'm not too sure about these two. The Spiker probably has good MRA, but I'm not really sure. A bunch of interesting Ultra Rares, like that's a decent one, decent one, decent one. Like they're all like decent in like their categories, like they're all rounders. The Tamar is actually good in this drag category. That's a great car. These two are decent all rounders. Then we got the Power Box, which is interesting, especially if it does get off-road tires. X-Type, which is generic, so most of the time fused material for people. M3, which is a campaign car that most people fuse. Scape, which is just a generic fuse material car. And then Super Rares, that most of which nobody really keeps. Really, the only three that people keep are the three that I have in my garage, which are the F-150 Lightning, the Integra Type R, and maybe people keep the Crossfire Concept. But none of the others really people don't keep. And the Rares, only really keeper is the Integra GSR. And then foreign commons that basically no one really has in their garage unless they're keeping the Aztec for the meme. And then three commons that really nobody really keeps. So it's basically a finals made with fuse material. But, which is kind of interesting. It's going to be interesting. Might actually have, if I pull like another rare or if I get that ceramic pack, I might actually have like a decent chance for like tier six, maybe tier five if I got really lucky because no one else is really going to be running a strong hand because not many people are going to have like five high tier ultra rares. So just by having probably five max super rares, 
of good category, I'll have a good shot. I'll have a good shot. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like these type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.